Maniac, The Bath School Disaster and the Birth of the Modern Mass Killer by Harold Schechter delves into the tragic and chilling account of the Bath School Disaster of 1927, one of the deadliest mass murders in American history that is often overlooked in discussions of mass violence. The book meticulously reconstructs the events leading up to the tragedy, the horror of the attack itself, and its aftermath while also providing a broader commentary on the emergence of mass killers in modern society. The catastrophe unfolded in Bath Township, Michigan, when Andrew Kehoe, a local farmer and school board treasurer, orchestrated a series of deadly explosions at the Bath Consolidated School, targeting children and educators. The author paints a detailed portrait of Kehoe, a man seen by others as intelligent and capable, yet harboring a deeply disturbed and vengeful personality revealing the complexities behind his motivations and the warning signs that went ignored. Harold Schechter takes readers through a narrative beginning with Kehoe's personal and financial struggles, including his antagonistic relationships with fellow community members and local institutions like the school and the school board. Kehoe's animosity specifically intensified due to financial difficulties, which he partly blamed on the school's taxes. Despite these problems, to the public, Kehoe maintained an appearance of normalcy and dedication to his community roles. The author chronicles Kehoe's meticulous planning of the attack, which involved a considerable amount of stolen dynamite and pyrotol, an incendiary explosive. Kehoe spent months wiring the school with these explosives, in a way designed to inflict maximum casualties. The choice of the school as a target reflects a chilling intention to harm the most innocent and defenseless members of society, underscoring the profound malice driving his actions. On the morning of May 18, 1927, Kehoe's heinous plan was put into action. He first murdered his wife, Nellie, before setting off a series of explosives at his farm as a distraction. He then detonated the explosives he had planted at the school leveling half the building and wreaking unfathomable carnage. In the chaos that followed, Kehoe drove to the scene with a truck, likewise rigged with explosives, and detonated it, killing himself and several others, including the school superintendent. The devastation of the Bath School disaster is recounted in harrowing detail. The attack claimed the lives of 38 schoolchildren and six adults and injured dozens more, leaving a small community in ruins and a nation abruptly awoken to the fact that such calculated mass violence could occur anywhere. The immediate response entailed acts of heroism and compassion as the townspeople rallied to aid the victims, while the long-term consequences included grief, trauma, and a search for understanding that permeated far beyond Bath Township. Schechter deftly explores the wider implications of the Bath School disaster, noting the sense of incomprehensibility that surrounded the event. In 1927, the concept of a mass murderer, especially one targeting children, was barely within the public's realm of reasoning. Cahoe's actions were so unprecedented that even the word massacre seemed inadequate to describe the atrocity. The book considers the impact of media coverage in shaping public perception and memory of the tragedy. In an era before television and the Internet, the dissemination of news was slower yet the Bath School disaster still made national headlines. Despite this, over time, the incident receded from the collective memory, overshadowed by subsequent acts of mass violence with higher death tolls or more sensationalist elements. In examining the aftermath of the Bath School disaster, the author reflects on the difficulty in finding explanations for Kehoe's actions. While Kehoe left behind cryptic messages implying his motives were fiscal, and centered on revenge against the tax system that he believed had wronged him, understanding the brutality of his acts requires a deeper analysis of psychological and societal factors. Maniac situates the Bath School disaster within the chronology of mass killings, suggesting it as a precursor to the modern mass killer. Schechter argues that Kehoe's massacre bore the hallmarks of later mass murders, including calculated planning, the desire for notoriety, and the choice of a soft target representing a form of innocence or purity. Through this lens, the author invites readers to consider the factors that have led to the proliferation of such violence in the century that has followed. Furthermore, Schechter addresses the topic of prevention and response to mass killings.
He notes that while advancements in law enforcement and mental health care have been made since the Bath School disaster, society still struggles with effectively identifying and intervening in the lives of potential mass murderers. Throughout the narrative, the book pays tribute to the victims and survivors of the tragedy, emphasizing their humanity and the immeasurable loss inflicted by Kehoe's actions. The stories of individual children and teachers offer a poignant counterpoint to the analytical exploration of mass violence, grounding the historical in the deeply personal. Harold Schechter's comprehensive retelling of the Bath School disaster in Maniac serves as both a solemn memorial to a forgotten tragedy and a thought-provoking examination of the phenomenon of mass murder in America. It challenges readers to reflect on the historical context of mass violence while confronting the enduring question of how society can comprehend and counter such acts of inexplicable evil. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.